Hello out there anime fans, Chibi Z here for Random Anime Fact Time here on Bulbatube. Today we will talk about DBZ, Bleach, Naruto, and Full Metal Alchemist. Let's start with something most people know, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Moon Prism the Power! Let's take a look at the most memorable attack in the Dragon Ball series. Uh, no, not that attack. I'm talking about the Kamehameha, which translates to Turtle Destruction Wave. Ever wonder about its origin and where it comes from? Well, Kamehameha means something completely different in its original Hawaiian language. In Hawaiian, it means the lonely one, or the one set apart. This was named after a line of Hawaiian kings. If you think about the name's origin, it makes perfect sense. Who was the creator of this attack? Master Roshi. Where does Roshi live? Alone on a secluded island. Which discipline does he train under? The Turtle School. As you can see, all elements of its history and etymology are there. Oh! <laughs> Shut up, Bulma. Ever wonder about what the Z in DBZ stands for? The Z stands for Zenkai, which roughly translates into complete or full, depending on its context. In the anime, when Saiyans go Zenkai, it can be broken down into two parts. Zen, meaning full, and Kai, meaning release. Sakura, don't you have to go be useless somewhere? <clears throat> so in the title Dragon Ball Z, the Z implies that it is the last of its series. Dragon Ball GT was not canon to the original series. In fact, many fans disregard its storyline altogether as it was not written or created under the supervision of Toriyama. Furthermore, many claims on the internet state that Akira Toriyama's original wishes were for the series to end before it did. Multiple theories are out there as to which arc he intended to end it at. Some say after the Frieza Saga, others say after the Cell Saga. Many claim it was the Cell Saga and give evidence towards the fact that Toriyama spitefully made the series silly by adding Boo and his ability to turn people into food thereafter. This would stand up as great evidence, if not for the fact that in the original Dragon Ball series, he had a bad guy that did the exact same thing. Speaking of changes in series, did you know that some of Bleach's intros change as the storyline progresses? Notice how in the first episode, Rukia doesn't move at all here at this point of the intro, but get a dozen episodes in and she has progressed. Naruto does this too in its intros. Cleverly, they change the intro to match the progression of the storyline without spoiling future events. One instance of this is during the Sasuke retrieval arc from The Sound 4. As each member of The Sound 4 is defeated, the intro slightly changes. The intro even updates to give Shikamaru his chunin vest upon his advancement. Let's finish it up with one of Professor Bulba's favorite animes, Full Metal Alchemist. Brotherhood, of course. Ever wonder what binary gender envy falls under? Sometimes I wish Professor Oak had been around to ask. Thankfully, it was revealed that envy is in fact androgynous. That is to say envy is a combination of both masculine and feminine characteristics. Envy's gender is ambiguous on purpose. How could you expect someone who is purely envy to pick just one gender? You know what they say about gender. The more the merrier. Creepy! This wraps up this random anime fact video. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome anime facts. If you have any ideas that you want us to explore, or want to submit your own facts, please comment below. Chibi Z here signing out. Thanks for stopping by.